Hi guys, I'm Megan Brightwood and welcome to my channel, or if you're a returning viewer, then hi, nice to see you again. I'm so glad that you're back. If you haven't already, certainly take a moment to hit that subscribe button and notification bell down below so that you don't miss any of my videos. I do post on Sundays, Wednesdays, and Fridays, so there's been a lot of content going out, and if you don't want to miss anything, then that's going to be your best bet. So today is my mid-June knitting update, and my husband's birthday is tomorrow. So will I be done with the Svensson Pullover by Jared Flood? Stay tuned to find out. Uh, but because the only object that I have to share with you that is finished is not that, <laughs> there you go. I didn't finish it. I tried so hard and we'll, we'll see what progress I made. But yeah, it didn't get done. So anyway, the only finished object that I have is actually something from my son Charlie. And I don't think I shared anything in my last knitting update for him. So I'm feeling kind of okay about this. But it's this little pair of joggers. Aren't these cute? Who would have thought of knitting joggers? But these are the Cedar Bluff joggers by Alex Capshaw Taylor. And they worked out really nice. I really like them. So they are a piecewise constructed object. Uh, so you do one leg first and then you do the other and then you seam everything together, which is not my favorite way of knitting, but it worked out fine and I am getting better at my seams. I mean, you can kind of see based on the colors where the seam is, but based on the actual fabric itself, I don't think you can see it much from this side. So yeah, I'm getting better at my seaming. I'm still not great at it. Uh, you can kind of see it a little bit more in this little cuff area, but yeah, um, getting better with that. So anyway, a little bit more about this. This is made out of a yarn bee yarn, so it's from Hobby Lobby, and they have hand dyed yarns. I'm not sure if you were aware, uh, but I was pretty surprised when I saw it. And it's out of a natural slate colorway, I believe. There is a little hole here to put a drawstring in, but I haven't done that yet. And it does have an elastic waist, and you're meant to put elastic in these cuffs as well, but I didn't do it because I didn't think it was really all that necessary. It's stretchy enough on its own and works out well. The only thing that I would maybe do a little bit differently if I were to do these again, and I am planning on doing these again, is that I did the 2T for my son Charlie, who that is what he typically wears, but I wish I would have done a little bit more on the uh, shaping for the backside. It just doesn't go up quite far enough, and that might be because he's still in diapers, but yeah, it's a little bit short in the back, not terrible, but I think I would change that up just a little bit if I were to do it again. Otherwise, they're really, really cute. I really like them. And I do have some yarn that I can make my daughter some as well. I'm going to be casting those on pretty soon, I think. But yeah, really liked that pattern and I would highly recommend it. I have never seen knitted joggers like that, but makes me want to make more. So anyway, <laughs> that's my only finished object. So let's move on to that Svensson pullover that I've been talking about for months and months and months. So the Svensson pullover by Jared Flood. If this is your first time watching this video, I have been working on it for quite a while out of a Malabrigo Rios yarn in the colorway Blue Jean. And I'd originally hoped to make it for my husband's birthday, but unfortunately his birthday is tomorrow. So there is no way that I'm going to be getting this done, but I'm close enough where I think that it will work as a Father's Day gift instead. So I'm going to take his Father's Day gifts and give them to him for his birthday and then I'll use these, um, or use this and give it to him for Father's Day. So a little bit disappointed, but it's going to work out fine. I've got a backup plan. We're all good. So let's take a look at this sweater. This is the back of the Svensson pullover and it's so pretty. It's got so much going on with it. It's got some honeycomb cabling right in the center here and then it's got some horseshoe cabling that is surrounded by some herringbone cables. 
some American moss stitch on the sides here. Really, really pretty. I really like it. And the sizing is actually working out really well. I've put it up against some of my husband's other sweaters and it looks like it's right on track. I did have to fiddle around with the sizing a little bit because he is thinner than the smallest instructions, but he's also got a pretty long torso. So yeah, it's working out very well. Very happy with that. And then I did finish the front portion the other day and it looks like this. So it's basically the exact same thing. It's got all the cabling and then it's got this crew neck neckline. And the way that this works, so it's a raglan sweater and so you attach the sleeves right along here. They're, they all have kind of a similar shape to them, but this is just a little bit shorter than the shoulder on the back. And you create, I think they called it a saddle piece on the sleeves so that they go up and then they make just a little bit of extra fabric that kind of goes up and over onto the front portion. It looks really cool. So I'm kind of interested to see how that works out. And I am also glad that I've done those uh, Cedar Bluff joggers for Charlie because that got me practicing my seaming again. So hopefully the seams will all look nice on that. And then I did tell you that I was close, but that I wasn't gonna be able to finish it. I did get pretty far on the first sleeve. So let me untangle my yarn here. Here is the sleeve. And this I actually am doing the, I think extra small size for the sleeve. And it's the right size for his arms, thankfully. So I don't have to do any more math on that. But yeah, really pretty. It's got that honeycomb cabling again, surrounded by the herringbone. It just looks really nice. I'm so excited to finish it, but just didn't quite make it. I am getting close to the point where I'll start working on the raglan decreases again here. But yeah, so pretty. I'm kind of bummed that I didn't finish it but at least it will be finished in the next video. So yeah, keep your eyes out for that. And then I do have a couple more projects that I wanted to share with you. So let's go with this one. This might be a little tricky to see, but it is The Weekender Light by Andrea Mowry. And I'm making this out of a Cascade Heritage yarn in the colorway Golden Yellow. I ran out of the skein of yarn I was working with here so it'll be a little tricky to show but I did finish the front portion of this so it's got a tubular bind off for the boat neck that it has and then it's got this really kind of cool ribbed detail up on top for the most part it's a pretty basic sweater it is worked in reverse stockinette with this faux seam on both the front and back panels Really, really nice. I really like it. I'm excited to start wearing it, but yeah, really pretty. I really like the color, and I think that now that I'm getting a little bit more sun, the kids and I have been playing outside a lot. I think that it is going to work for my skin tone, or at least slightly. <laughs> um, I, I don't know. I really like that bright color, and I'm excited to start wearing it. So yeah, there's my Weekender Light. The last sweater that I've been working on is the Holly Dress by Pernell Larson, and I'm making it out of a Cascade Heritage yarn again. I don't remember what colorway this is. It's just a light pink, kind of fun color. And I love this bobble edge on here. It's not that difficult to do. You actually just um, cast on as normal, work a few rows of stockinette, do a bobble edge, and then fold it. So yeah, works up really easily, but it gives a really cool impact to the sweater. And then this lace is just beautiful. I love that kind of holly leaf sort of detail, super pretty and it works out really nice. So this bubble edge is also going to be on the sleeves and then I think that it has an I-cord neckline. It does get a little bit long, so if you are figuring that you want something to fit the child right away, you maybe want to shorten up the length just a little bit, but if you want kids to have a little bit of room to grow, then yeah, do it as written. So really nice little dress. I'm excited to do a little more work on it. I haven't done much in the past couple weeks here. I've tried to put most of my effort towards that Svensson pullover, but 
what can you do? Um, anyway, I think that that's going to do it for my knitting update. I hope you guys have enjoyed this video, and if you did, certainly give it a thumbs up. Subscribe if you would like to see more, but I think that that's going to do it for today's video. So thank you so much for hanging out with me today. I really appreciate it, and I will see you in my next video. Bye!